In this video, we will be studying about the functions of central bank. Now, number one we have is issuing of notes. So, what central bank do is whatever the currency that is circulated in the country is just because of the central bank. Now, see, you saw the demonetization that your 1500 rupees were banned, and in the place of it, rupees 2000 note came. So, who issued this note? The central bank. Who produced these notes is the central bank. So, the central bank issues the notes. Second is the banker to the government. See, if people want to take loan or deposit money, they go to the commercial bank. But if, what happens if the government wants loan? What happens if government want to deposit their funds? So, they do it with the central bank that is the Reserve Bank of India. So central bank also advises the government on the monetary policy. He is the financial advisor as well. Financial advisor to the government. It manages the account of government. As an agent to the government, it buys and sells securities. On the behalf of government. So all the functions that were performed by the commercial bank for the general public are the functions that are performed by the central bank for the government. The third we have is Banker's Bank. What is Banker's Bank now? See, the commercial banks are being controlled by RBI, your central bank. Your commercial banks are controlled by RBI. So what happens if your commercial banks need loan? What happens if your commercial bank wants to deposit, deposit the money? So they will go and deposit it, it to the central bank. So it is an apex bank of all the banks in the country. The central bank has almost the same relationship with the other banks in the country as the commercial bank has with the customers or the general public. So, whatever functions the commercial banks perform for the public, the same functions are being performed by the central bank for the commercial banks. Fourth is the supervision of the banks. See, we have heard about the uh, scam of uh, syndicate bank. That there were fictitious assets. So what the central bank do? It keeps the check on the commercial banks. That the commercial banks are not undertaking any illegal activities or are financially sound. And what are the financial condition of the commercial bank? So the central banks keeps the eye on the bank lenders of the last resort now if the commercial bank needs loan and they do not get any final assistance from anywhere so the lender of the last resort is at last the commercial banks can get loans from central bank that is RBI uh, by keeping some security. Sixth is the custodian of foreign exchange. 
See, all the foreign exchange is in the custody of the RBI. It means whatever the foreign exchange, the dollars or the different currencies are circulated in the economy, the RBI has the full control or full check over the foreign exchange. So, the uh, RBI is the custodian of the foreign exchange and it helps and stabilize the exchange rate and international trade. Seventh, we have us control of credit. See, it's the monetary policy that affects the uh, credit in the market. Suppose the uh, uh, government increased the interest rate on loans. So what will happen? It will uh, decrease the amount of loan that people will take. So in this way, it will reduce the supply of money in the market or the supply of credit in the market. So your RBI controls the credit. Eighth is your collection of statistics. What RBI do is, RBI collect the statistics regarding the economy from the commercial banks and they make the decisions according to the particular statistics they have adopted. Ninth is formation of monetary policy. See, all the monetary policies are being formed by the central bank that what will be the CRR cash reserve ratio, what will be the SLR strategy liquidity ratio, what will be the bank rate, right? what will be the repo rate, all these etc. All these come into the monetary policies that affects the economy. So in this way only the central bank has the authority to form the monetary policy and all the commercial banks and the economy of country we as we are the people have to follow the instructions of the central bank i hope you have completely understood the functions of central bank please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us